to a brand new series. I decided in the end to call it From the Shadows just because I thought it sounded a little bit more ominous than taking back the city. But uh, basically, I'm just going to quickly explain about what we're going to be doing in this series and then I'll hand over to myself for something a little bit different. Um, there was a few options I was weighing up for what once the series was chosen anyway, after the sort of mishaps with the voting, but we did end up settling on this. Um, and of course, Edward Adamenko as the manager. Now, in the end, it came down to a few choices and there was a few fantastic suggestions of clubs that I could do and I didn't actually know some of them and there were a few that were a little bit too like someone suggested one that was an eighth tier team and that's just I just don't we that wouldn't happen for us and I didn't want to start at the amateur levels just because it would get a little bit grindy potentially but there were still some good options available um i was sort of torn in the end between paris fc and um ce europa over in spain obviously from barcelona now um they both have fantastic histories but in different ways in the sense that paris fc were only founded in 1969 but you'll find out more about that uh, with a little ident i've prepared in a second um so Basically, we're a semi-professional club in the third tier of French football. And one of the main bonuses to me about wanting to do this save in France was that we get to play in the Coupe de France. And if you don't know what the Coupe de France is, it is possibly the best cup competition in the world. Seriously, it is fantastic. Uh, there's something like 4,000 teams enter it every year, which is like 10 times what the FA Cup gets. And believe me, that is a huge amount. Like teams from overseas territories that are French controlled can also enter so from places like uh, reunion islands and such like that um so yeah it's quite it's got like 14 rounds it's phenomenal and we're gonna get to play in it this year so that's gonna be fun you get like sixth tier teams getting to like the quarterfinals from time to time it's crazy and i'm really looking forward to doing that now the main aim of this series is we're gonna try and overthrow the power that is paris saint germain now of course paris saint germain as you're gonna find out in a second have a lot of links with paris fc um but of course they are the money men in paris and of course dominate french football at the moment um now, it's going to take us a little while, but I feel that we're going to be able to do it. Now, of course, it wouldn't just... The overall aim of this save is, of course, to win the Champions League, as with all of my saves. However, because with the idea of this is to take back the city from PSG, I felt that we needed to have a couple more stipulations involved. And if you've got any suggestions for other stipulations... Um, to when we've taken back the city, so to speak, then please do drop them in the comments. But the main one I want to do is want to try and make sure that we do the double over them three times in a row or something like that to really... And it doesn't, or maybe just beat them six or five times in a row in all competitions or something like that. Because actually the, doing the double would be quite difficult, even if we were dominating the league. Um, but like maybe winning against them five times in a row in competitive fixtures or something like that. Um, and any other suggestions you may have. So um, without further ado, I'm going to hand you over to myself uh, for something that I've been kind of working quite hard on today. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy and I'll see you guys in a minute. Towards the end of the 1960s, a group of ambitious French businessmen decided that France needed a football club. A football club that could rival the best in Europe and the world over. They decided the best way to achieve this goal would be to merge two of Paris's current football clubs, Paris FC and Stade Saint-Germain. The merger was ratified by the French Football Association in 1970, and as a result, Paris Saint-Germain Football Club was born. The newly formed club won promotion to France's top flight in its first season. However, not all was right at Paris Saint-Germain. The mayor of Paris had refused to support a non-Parisian club, and since Paris Saint-Germain had originally been situated in Saint-Germain-en-Laye, he did not see them as truly Parisian. This resulted in a bitter split between the two clubs. Paris FC were given the entity's first division and professional status, as well as all the professional players. Paris Saint-Germain, on the other hand, were administratively relegated to the third tier and given all the former entity's amateur players, leaving them with nothing. Paris FC originally played their league matches in the Parc des Princes, however after two seasons they were relegated to the second division. This coincided with Paris Saint-Germain's return to the top flight, and as a result they were able to take control of the Parc des Princes. Paris FC returned to the top flight in France for the 1978-1979 season, however this was fraught with trouble and eventually they were relegated. They have yet to return to the top flight since. After a takeover, in 1983, the club merged with Racing Club de France. However, Racing remained in the top flight, while Paris FC were administratively relegated to the 4th division, due to having limited resources. They spent several years playing in the 4th and 5th tiers in France. Soon after, the club were promoted to the 3rd tier, and spent 12 years before being relegated back down in 2000. The club spent 6 years in the 4th division, 
before being promoted once again to the third tier in 2007, and that is where they find themselves today. Since the 1970s, they have found themselves in the shadows of their much larger and more illustrious neighbour, Paris Saint-Germain. We intend to change that. Welcome back. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. It was just something a little bit different. I felt like trying to do and use a bit of extra time to do a bit more professional style, maybe not really, editing uh, on some stuff to try and give you guys an idea of the background without just me babbling on incessantly and try and do it a little bit more professional looking. So without further ado, we're going to take a little look around. Now, as you can see at the moment, the transfer budget and wage budget available are zero. Um, now, I'm not sure if that's because I've not had meetings yet with the club. So again, I will do all that stuff and we will find out um, in an episode that will come out later today. There will be another one today. I'm not entirely sure what time, but you, you'll see it'll probably be around about half six um for the you know how i did it with um outcast to icons basically where i put the, you know an intro episode and then a proper episode up to go with it as well it's just going to take a lot of work to get all this stuff done because um i'm going to have to try and build a new tap a new tactic and that's going to be a fun one so um take a little look at the club itself We've got kits. I managed to get kit packs for all of the French leagues. Um, so that's all going to be delicious. We've got logo packs. I really do like the logo as well. As you can see, um, they've kind of been fluctuating quite a lot. But obviously, I would have talked about that before. Um, they do play in a large stadium as well, which is quite cool to have. Um, let's take a little look at the squad, though. That's kind of what we're really interested in. Um, oops. Um, sorry, I've not set up anything. Wow, okay. So ability-wise, uh, we've got some quite decent players in the team. Quite a few older players, but one particular here is... Oh, he's on loan. Uh, it's Bwalion. I uh, don't know who he's on loan from. He's on loan from uh, oh, Alcocon in the uh, blah, 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 Spanish second division. So interesting. Um, some potential in some youngsters like uh, Tecoro Keita. He looks good, actually. 20 years old and he's already decent. Maybe, oh, he's a real player as well. Lovely old job. Of course he will be. And he's in our starting squad. Uh, what I'm more interested in, so that looks like there's some decent guys in the team already. Um, not entirely sure where our best sort of strengths are at the moment. Um Wow, we've got some weak points, that's for sure, particularly on the wings. Um, maybe a narrow system would be better for us. I don't know. We'll have to see uh, what I can bring in. Let's take a look at the reserves. Anyone interesting in there? Um, Marquez looks pretty decent, and some potential in people like Kante and Correa. They look pretty solid as well, as does Kitumba. In fact, there's some width here, which could be easily exploitable. As for the under-19s, nothing great. Dominique Pereira looks pretty good, and uh, Da Costa Checa, which is a fantastic name as well. He's only 16 years old, and I assume he's a regen. Oh my god, he's got... That is some hair. That is a wedge. Um, oh, wow, that is an incredibly... That is a haircut, my friends. Um... So yeah, not too bad. It's overall, they look all right. I don't know what we're doing in terms of how, uh, let's see what the training facilities are like. Uh, facilities. Adequate corporate facilities, adequate training, below average youth recruit, uh, average youth facilities. Hopefully that's something we're definitely going to improve on because I do want to try and bring some young players through um, in this save. But obviously I'll be doing what I usually do as well. Um, adequate junior coaching, a fairly basic youth recruitment. So it's going to be a little bit different, uh, a little bit difficult. Now, you may know that they don't actually play in this stadium in real life anymore, but unfortunately the game is not updated to that point to where that is relevant yet. So there's that. Um, as for that, I can't think... We've got some staff still at the club still, which is good. Oh, as you wanted to see, actually, just in case you were curious about um, the manager I actually picked, I went with um, international reputation um, for him because he's an international footballer. You know, that's the whole point. But I picked, like a badge that was appropriate for the club we were at. So it's a little bit of a weird one like that. And I also put a lot of it on mental so that we had lots of discipline because I didn't want any crap like we've had in other other saves. So it's mostly gone on to the mental stats side of our game, basically. That's where I've gone with that. We can still improve our coaching, though, uh, because we can still do coaching courses because we're not actually that far out. And you might notice as well, I gave him his correct birthday from our save. I also uh, put him as a fave supporter of Dino Kiev, where he came from, and Red Star, of course, based in France. Um, nationalities, as you can see here, was born in the exact um, country city that he was born in and i put the correct languages in as well he actually has 60 caps um for ukraine in the other save and didn't score for them but you know you can't pick that stuff as far as i'm aware so he's got everything there sorted um i tried my best with the picture for him i hope it's a little bit less um wearing his dad's jacket than norman's was i made his head a little bit bigger this time but there you go so that's basically um all there is to it right now so join me in an hour and i'm going to be coming back and we'll be doing hopefully our first match of the season or hopefully we'll have lots of stuff to talk about with uh, signings and hopefully a new tactic but my god i'm going to take it's going to take me days to actually sort all that out which is why i'm so glad i've given myself all this time to actually do it so i will see you guys 
later in the day. So guys, if you think you're going to enjoy this series, please drop the video a like. Um, I'd love to see if we could get this one over 600 likes. That would be kind of cool. I don't really know if that's possible, but hey, let's give it a crack anyway. So I will see you guys later today um, where we will be doing, of course, a proper episode of this. So if you like what you're seeing, please drop a like on the video. And if you've liked it even more than that, please subscribe to my channel for more Outcaster icons and from the shadows in your inbox every single day at 5.30 and 8 o'clock. And I will see you guys in the next episode where hopefully we'll have lots of interesting stuff to talk about. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.